welcome back friends hope you saw the previous video in the previous video we talked about achieving true freedom and the benefits and as to how we may have some belief systems that could hamper our way to achieve our true freedom right and that's true so we need to fix that if there is right we are all run by our belief systems our entire life is run by our belief system fortunately or unfortunately right now uh, for example like uh, for you to quickly uh, understand what i'm trying to say is uh, way back you know until the greek astronomers i don't remember who aristotle and you know uh, those those people came back and told us that the earth is round and they proved it it took a while to prove because in the pictures to show right all people humans across the globe believed that earth was flat right so people wouldn't venture deep into the ocean deep into the water because they thought they would you know if they go to the edge to the horizon they may you know actually fall off the surface of the earth and uh, you know vanish into oblivion into space right so that was the belief system that had existed at that time so it's been there all along you know for humans from beginning of time our entire lives are run by our belief system you know how we approach things how we see the world the you know view that we have about the world about others about our society about ourselves is all run by certain belief systems right and what what is a belief belief is basically what we think is true at that point in time based on the inputs that we've had up until now right based on the inferences that we've gathered based on the uh, facts uh, that we thought were told to us based on the experience that we've had so when we were born actually you know these have got you know ingrained from there on so when we were born as children right you know uh, we start with a clean clean slate the subconscious is empty highly impressionable highly moldable right and uh, from there what the parents the teachers the society uh they told us or shared with us with the right intention of course got into our subconscious in an and it becomes an autopilot mode from there on right zehen mein as they say gets ingrained and we navigate with that inputs and belief systems across the world that becomes our reference point that becomes our guide for anything and everything that we do in that area of uh, act- activity so that starts dictating everything right this is good this is bad this is possible this is not possible this is right this is wrong this is safe this is dangerous right for me when my son says you know i want to learn bike riding or swimming i go into a big thought process and i'm like you know so so he has to purchase a helmet he has to have a safe uh, trainer somebody who's very safe driver then he has to take this precaution and that precaution and drive it you know all that stuff right even though he's age 21 my thought process safe versus dangerous for somebody else you know it could be like everybody drives uh, post age 18 a bike right rides a bike let him learn it what's there buy a helmet and then you know it's safe go ahead right so very easy for somebody in my case if somebody tells me next year follow these systems proven right step by step and your annual income of this year can become the monthly income of next year it's acceptable to me i can buy into it i believe it my belief system agrees to that it has been converted now it probably didn't have it maybe a year ago but it has been converted now to able to be able to get into an empowering mode right so see the difference somebody's limiting belief could actually be an empowering belief for somebody else in another area or the same area right so you and i have different belief systems so we think differently but in the area or endeavor of our growth or planned growth or achievement towards free you know to true freedom in this case if there is an impediment we need to be able to 
realize, identify and fix it. Right? And that's why I'm just sharing this. Elephants. And, and I, I'll show you a small, actually I wanted to show it as a picture. Right? So this, this is picture of a set of elephants tied in a circus to a small wedge by a thin chain. Right? Just like we being told that life is not easy. You have to work very hard to score marks. You have to work very hard to earn money. You don't deserve to be wealthy. You're not worthy. I'm not intelligent. I'm not capable. Right? All these limiting beliefs are told to us. To an elephant, what was told indirectly was, when it was young, it was tied up to a good wedge by a strong chain. As much as it, you know, tried to pull and it saw the other elephants, not even trying to pull the, sea, the senior elephants, the bigger ones, not even trying to pull. It kept pulling and tried and got its own inference that, yeah, this is not movable. Because at that age, when it was weak and small, it was unable to pull that chain out of that wedge and get free. Right? So it gave up. We give up. Right? Like... All elephants, we intelligent human beings, put this restraint on us. So when the elephant grows up, right, for an elephant which can carry more than one ton of weight on its trunk and chuck it out, if it wants to, just pulling this chain and the wedge out is no big deal. But the point is, it's given up. It has a limiting belief that it's not possible for it. Right? We humans have started to put that and we have our own limited beliefs, right? We label ourselves. I'm an accountant, so I can't sell or teach. I'm a lawyer, so I can't do math or whatever, right? The false limiting beliefs come into play. I'll show you another example. An experiment was conducted on uh, fleas, right? So what they did was, they put a set of fleas inside a jar, closed the lid and let it be for three days. Yeah. Initially, the fleas were jumping out. They had the ability, right? If you see, initially in the video, when the fleas are left, let into the jar, they start flying and some of them actually pop up and come out of the jar. But then the jar gets closed and left like that for three days. The flea tries and tries each flea. And after three days when the jar gets opened, if you see, they jump, but they don't come out. They only jump to the height of the jar lid. And the funny part is, the scary part is, even if they reproduce during this period, their younger ones are programmed not to jump beyond the height of the jar. So there's an imaginary lid that we put on ourselves and our capabilities. And this is also true for humans. So we have these limiting beliefs. That's why, you know, some of you would say, wow, annual income of this year is equal to the monthly income of next year. This business is good. I like it. It sounds good. But may not be for me. I may not be able to achieve it. It's for, you know, lucky ones or more educated ones or, you know, more intelligent folks or more risk-taking ones, okay? The fear, you know, it's all, the, it's all fear-driven. It's all trying to be safe. The mind tries, tries to keep us in our comfort zone. Remember? The so social, uh, you know, constraints. So we, we keep wondering, what will the other person say? What will the others think? These limiting thoughts actually kill many dreams and we stay limited and our belief system. For example, I, you know, uh, I had this friend called Vivek in college and Vivek used to be shit scared of dogs, right? He used to be, he, he hated dogs. What had happened was when he was young, uh, back in Hyderabad, his brother got bit by a dog, a neighbor's dog. 
and he actually saw his brother being bit by the dog and rushed to the hospital. And his parents warned him, stay away from dogs. And even though, so, so that stayed with him. And even though we were four or five people walking and it was a known dog, we see the dog on a daily basis on the streets in Pune. And we feed the dog biscuits and it wags its tail. It's very friendly. Vivek will be missing from there. Right? Today, uh, from what I latest know, Vivek is in California in the US. He's got two lovely dogs in his house. He's married. His belief system was changed by his wife, uh, who was brought up with dogs as pets. Right? So now he, he's absolutely fine. So the good news here is a limiting belief, if it exists, can be converted into an empowering belief. That's very, very important for us to know. And uh, so if, if you think that it's not possible, it can change. If I say uh, at this age, you know, I'm too old to start a new business, limiting belief. Oh, I have the experience, the status, the capability, the maturity and the wisdom to run a new startup business. This is empowering belief. It's about the viewpoint or the approach and it can be converted. But it requires three things. You know, three tips I told you, I'll tell you. One, you need to know that it exists, right? At least, right? So you need to do some soul searching. Awareness is the first most important thing towards any progress. You need to know that it exists and you need to believe, okay, it can be fixed, right? So do some soul searching, figure out any area that you're not happy, that you want it to be. That any area where you are trying to make progress but unable to make progress, do a little bit of examination, self-examination. It could be a limiting belief, right? So once you identify our, your limiting belief, the effort is worth it. It may take some time because it's life transforming from there on. Once you identify, then you go through a process of writing down affirmations. We are what we think and what we say. Remember we said we become what we think about all day long. We, our actions, our confidence, our thought process, our approach, everything is related to what we say to ourselves and believe that we are. So if you write the right affirmations, okay, so if, if, I, if I am extra weight, I need to say I am slim and trim. Example, right? Write the right affirmations. And then third tip is once you identify and write it, you need to be able to action on it. There is a particular method of action. Okay, It takes 66 days. There is a science behind it. And in my course, I clearly cover the science behind the approach required to identify your beliefs, limiting beliefs in the area of your endeavor and work on it to fix it across health, wealth, relationship and success and make it happen. All right? And that's very important. You need to remove the imaginary lid. You need to unchain yourself from the circus. All right? Because you deserve freedom. In my next video, I cover about 25 top advantages as to why creating and selling digital products is a super duper advantageous, profitable business in the marketplace. Don't miss out on it. Until then, see ya. God bless.